Welcome back. You're watching Mirror at One. Now, the Delhi government has told the NGT that exposure to air pollution worsens mental health outcomes in India. And what sort of effect could it have on residents in Delhi? Feelings of sadness, cognitive difficulties and a reduced ability to cope with life's challenges. Now, this comes after the NGT had observed that psychological aspect of the dip in air quality in the capital required analysis. And the problems don't end there. The report submitted by the Delhi Health Department also said that air pollution increased the psychological distress of people, especially those located in rural areas and those who are part of economically vulnerable populations. Now, NGT said there was no monitoring of certain air pollutants, including ammonia, lead, nickel arsenic and benzoepirine. The matter has now been posted on July 10th for further proceedings. All right, I do understand my guest is joining me this afternoon, Bhavreen Kandari, who is an environmentalist and member My Right to Breathe. Bhavreen, thank you very much for taking the time out and joining us here. It's great to see you once again back on the show. I'm going to come back to you in a couple of minutes, Bhavreen, to understand your perspective better. But let's listen in to this report that was filed by my colleague, Shivani Olya. Interesting uh, details those have come from the Delhi government that they have sent to the National Tribunal. It clearly states that the air pollution has worsened exposure and worsened impact on our mental health. It also clears and uh, creates multiple psychological issues, psychotic disorders, and uh, it also puts a person to face the difficulties of the life challenges. It brings them into a negative state, uh, sadness, depression, stress as well. And that's why the National Tribunal has requested multiple authorities including the Delhi government and also the Central Pollution Control Board to file its reply, give a detailed data on how it's impacting people's life. It has stated that multiple pollution, especially the air quality pollution, brings more impact on person's mind and it also says that uh, the report states uh, that there is evidence suggesting that the air pollution exposure worsens mental health outcomes in India especially, leading to feelings of sadness, conjunctive uh, difficulties and a reduced ability to cope up with the life's challenges and that's why to bring the solution as well there are multiple suggestions those have come in uh, that how people should uh, completely and on a very often basis uh, consult the psychiatrist and check their psychotic disorders check their mental abilities otherwise there will be difficulties to see the regular life routine it also mentions that uh, how uh, the psychological disorder difficult uh, the person's life in profession and personal aspect and that is why the Delhi government reports clearly suggest that general measures are being taken but serious, uh, serious measures are something that needs to be taken. It will be an interesting part to see that how crores of rupees are spent already to control the air pollution but it seems to be failing but the new data suggests clearly that it has impact on our mental health and that is why it is more concerning and henceforth uh, it is directed to the CPACB to file an affidavit uh, an additional report including the de details of approval uh, right, Shivani, of course, uh, does get us those details of what those report states. But Bhavreen, coming back to you as far as this is concerned, of course, my colleague was taking us to the key takeaways of this. But anything in extreme will result in your mental health being impacted, which is alarming with what we're seeing. In fact, even in the past, when we have discussed the glaring AQI numbers, we've had you on the show where we've said about many solutions, but we don't see the reality on ground. And this just goes on to show that at a point of time when we keep seeing seeing things like this, it is high time for the government to also be held accountable? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we, uh, we I, like you said, it's just being said over and over. I mean, I'm, uh, of course, uh, always uh, thankful for you taking, for all of you at Mirror Now to take up such an important issue. So, uh, and we also appreciate what Delhi government has mm. at least acknowledged because uh, not many years ago, even the, uh, you know, the previous... Uh, um, uh, you know, Honorable Minister, you know, for Environment, he said that we don't even believe in these uh, studies and, uh, it, you know, so so that kind of denial is more difficult to handle. And now that we are accepting it and we are saying that, yes, um, you know, it's causing mental health and cause, in, in fact, every disease, every, every injury will cause some kind of, a, a, you know, distress in your life. And air pollution is just like a one big one because air pollution is not only about lungs, it's not only about breathing disorders. Now there have been innumerable studies connecting it to 
uh, you know, like, of course, uh, here we are talking about uh, depression and anxiety. It's Alzheimer's, it's uh, cardio, it's, uh, you know, mm. every part of your body gets affected by air pollution. And, of course, the, uh, the solutions are not in, again, treating it, you know, uh, treating it as in, uh, you know, whether you go to a doctor or a psychologist. Of course, the immediate um, uh, relief would be that. But it is about working on the sources of pollution so we, we, we can find clean air, clean air for ourselves, for our children. Uh, what worse can it be that we know for a study that has existed since 2019, which says that every third child in the city is already, has already uh, damaged lungs? So this is, uh, you know, something that uh, uh, we don't need. Now we don't need more studies. Now we need determination. We need speed. We need uh, uh, absolute uh, intent to actually make it happen. Considering now recently the CPCB only in the same entity uh, case where they've, uh, you know, uh, shown that they've not been able, even able to spend the amount of money that we've had. And uh, we are in a situation in a city where we still have broken roads around us. These are even the elite areas where you have bridges are broken for six months and uh, there is, uh, you know, absolutely no, no accountability or you're cutting five trees, felling five trees an hour in, a, you know, in a city which should be protecting, you know, talking of anxiety, I just got a call few, in a couple of hours ago, you know, from these young uh, kids in uh, Dwarka, you know, the, they, right now as we, you and I speak, you know, they're, mm. they're, they're destroying, there's a, a whole lot of felling happening in the Dwarka forest and there's a whole lake that has been destroyed where the Neil guys and uh, um, animals were coming to drink water. Now here, you're doing revival, lake revivals, uh, you know, or the co complete campaign and various other things, but there are the existing lakes that you're destroying and uh, the trees that you're felling. So, uh, right. you know, on the other hand, we are talking of uh, uh, heat waves and we are talking of, uh, you know, uh, speaking about disaster management coming out with various notifications. So, so you know, and nothing matches. Um, you know, the waste management, look at the solid waste management, our bylaws are not implemented. So policy is there, but the implementation, as you know, is so poor that uh, on the ground, it is so different. These, um, the higher officials, and uh, maybe sometimes I hate to say it, but, you know, it's not their job, but we appreciate that the judiciary is giving this a push, but they must come on the ground and see the realities. It is so different. And until, you know, so essentially, gap is Bhavreen, not, uh, if it is safe to say, we're <laughs> stuck in the same rut with no solution. But like you said, you know, um, these key findings are important because at the end of the day, for any citizen, quality of life, uh, uh, quality of life should be of utmost importance. But that's something that we don't see. In fact, uh, with the fact that you've also pointed out what the ground reality is like with the mental health implications as well. A quick question on that front. You know, we're also looking at how pollution chokes you. We'll play that graphics on our screens and also. Also with the fact that the deadly air pollutants that exist in this, which is such a worrying concern on our health. Yes, and we, are, we have very limited research on that. We are just talking about the PM 2.5 and 5. We are hmm. not even, even right now close to uh, studies, which just some of the recent, you know, recently also uh, Toxic Link had uh, a study on lead. So that is, again, a, a very, very dangerous. True. It's a very, because we work with children and we are more concerned as mothers. We are always, uh, you know, working on children. It's a very dangerous thing in the paints and various uh, other products. It's uh, it's all about the, you know, the old pipes uh, that are going through. The water pipes are old. When they're old, they have lead. Sure. So, I mean, there are so many of these, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, chemicals and the various, uh, uh, you know, uh, worse uh, 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 you know, the, the uh, pollutants that uh, have to be worried about. But right now, we can't even go beyond the 2.5 and uh, uh, 10, which is uh, which is extremely, extremely dangerous. We know that uh, how, uh, uh, you know, on a daily basis, it's affecting us. As, as we speak, it's it's not like, um, you know, there, there's a pause that, okay, ho jayega, to thik ho jayega. But jitni der nahi ho ra, the damage is happening. The, uh, we are all breathing that toxicity. We are already going, we know that our children are going to live 12 exactly. years lesser than uh, the other children who are in, uh, you know, better air. So so this is something that, you know, that urgency has to come in from for everyone, whether it is officers, whether it is the judiciary, whether it is uh, uh, the, uh, the, you know, our... Uh, uh, citizens, everyone has to come together in this. All the It has to be a collective to be approach. Right, Bhavreen. I'd have to interject you there. But I think on that note, it's safe to say that in the viewpoint that you've given, that it's everybody's job to come together. But of course, these key findings, one can only hope that the implementation will be there on the ground so we're able to breathe uh, much better air that is. But for the moment, thank you very much. We're going to leave the conversation at that.